What up, what up, what up? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Pew. So, this video is totally impromptu. Uh, I was going to be moving on to another category, subject, series uh, to start the next week. But um, someone said to me, how come I didn't speak on mental health and COVID? Um, I don't think I've spoke on COVID at all in any of my videos, but it clearly has affected me and a lot of other people I know. So I'm going to oblige that and do this bonus video on mental health and COVID-19. So stay tuned, grab your beverage, grab your Sunday's best, do what you need to do, and um, check back in with me. I like it, I need you I'm looking right at you, see you If I tell you once, let this be the only time I don't really call, that you're really on my mind If I text you once, I might change my mind Give me a sign like a, I just might Taking you shopping, you popping, I might do all the things Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, mental health, COVID-19. You requested it, I'm coming with it. And I think I can already see that uh, maybe a white shirt is not the best thing to do, so I'll duly note that. I've been saying that I want to step into something more positive because there's so much doom and gloom. And so when somebody said, why you haven't talked about COVID, I'm like, man, I got enough issues going on, but how could I not talk about something that has affected the last eight, I don't even know what month we in now, six, seven, eight months of my life. Uh, yeah, COVID-19 has been a beast. Um, I don't even really like to say the words, probably why I never spoke on it, but in one positive way, it pulled me away from everyone, gave me time to be alone, and I really, really enjoy and appreciate my alone time. However, having anxiety, um, it created a bunch of fear for me. I had fear about losing my job, fear about contacting the virus, fear about not being able to pay my bills, fear about losing my loved ones to the virus, fear, fear, fear. And after the fear set in, then the boredom set in. So I took the boredom and turned that into um, some production. I was able to complete and submit two books that I had been talking about for years. Um, autobiography, I think I didn't spoke on that for about 20 years. So <clears throat> I was so tired of talking about them and I was so traumatized by this year that I thought just throw them out there. And I did exactly that. And unfortunately, I did not seek... Um, our editorial assistance and so um i was a little bit embarrassed by that and for that i haven't promoted it as much i would like to do uh second editions and go ahead and um, get the editors involved and i'm also trying to um complete two more books these two will actually be children's books one is a dedication to a gentleman and um the other one is just trying to help some families explain to children that um, there are people who look like me and they may be confused, but um, we're great people and just helping to break that down into a child's terms. So those are on the rise. So that's one thing that I did um, to avoid the boredom. Again, I started looking at a lot of things that I had, you know, I was blessed to have my apartment. I was blessed to still be able to work full time from home and I didn't really take a lot of losses. So that helped me to be more positive. Then when the loneliness really set in, um, I turned to my ex and we spent some time together and I'm not sure if that made me better or worse, but anyway, um, 
gave me a chance to be around some people. <clears throat> then I came back and kind of went to recluse again and uh, felt myself getting real depressed. And right about that time, I started reaching out more to my coworkers and um, seeing my families more on video. Was able to drop some things off at their houses to see them. And um, started doing some things to make me feel better. Going for walks. I uh, downloaded an exercise program, Total Burn, which I absolutely enjoy it. One of those things that I wanted to mention, though, is that um, I had to be intentional. Like I tell everybody um, when we're talking about mental health, you have to be intentional. The same way those anxious thoughts are intentional first thing in the morning, I have to be intentional about ridding those anxious thoughts. It was a time where it was going to take me under. Then I got back driving Uber and Lyft. I love interacting with people. Anytime that I can be um, of help, of service, I'm a servant leader by heart. So anytime that I can dig into what I love and enjoy, I'm all right. But the minute that's over, the minute we don't have that to do, um, I fall. And um, losing love again, watching my best friend lose her son. My son left and went off to Michigan. And then uh, getting him to Michigan kind of ruined my car. It was going to happen eventually anyway, but um, definitely shouldn't have took that trip. But I had to do what I had to do to get him where he needed to be. So I took some losses. And now knowing that I don't have my car, um, I was getting ready to drop. I'll tell you, the bottom was going to come out of me. I was going to go into a deep depression. And for me, the unfortunate part of my issues are once I let it get so dark, I can lose it all. I can lose the job, the house, the everything, just because I'm stressed or worried about the car. And I just felt like I cannot let this happen again. I told my God, Mom, COVID is killing people left and right. It is making homes destroyed. Some of our children who were quote unquote normal are going to live their lives so stressed and worried for years now because of what this virus is doing. So I didn't want to be on the weak side. I didn't want to go into the dark space like I do so often. And it's just like God and the universe started sending things to me. I'm currently practicing uh, the law of attraction. I've been feeding my soul with a lot of good uh, meditation. I've got daily mantras all over the place. And it just this week alone, um, I'm claiming for an unexpected thousand dollars. I know it's coming. I've already uh, manifested that I want 25K in my life for the month of October, and I'm putting it beyond that. I want 25K in my life for every month after this, and then we're just going to go up and up. And so that's what I had to take a conscious practice in doing. And if you could look at me, you would know, but you would have to know me too. When things happen, I can get down, and I can go down, and I can just crash, but not this time. I'm going to be a living, breathing testimony. And I wanted to show some things that I practiced last night to do in preparation for this unexpected revenue. But I, I wanted to just have that intimate moment with the universe. Um, I've ordered my chakra bracelet. Well, I have the bracelet. My son gave me that. I've ordered my chakra necklace. Um, I did a real good cleanse. Uh, I did some saging last night. And I'm going to be doing some fasting. So... If I would say anything about mental health in this uh, C-19, <clears throat> I would say be conscious, be uh, intentional, find joy, make joy, pull up laughter. Don't always just watch the news or a sad or a stressful movie. Sometimes you just got to watch a comedy show. And if you have to watch Medea over and over and over again, then you do that. And you have to be conscious about your peace and about your joy. <sighs> we don't know when this thing is going to end and there's so many uncertainties to it. But one thing that I know, I'm going to come out of this ahead. I'm going to come out of this better, stronger, wiser. COVID will not be the end of me and it will not make me uh, different than what I am.
if it will, if it will be for the better because I'm courageous. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I attract love. I attract happiness. I attract success. I am drug and disease free. I am happy to be alive. I trust you, powerful universe, and your divine timing to bring me what is already mine. It is what it is, but you have to be intentional. Get your peace back. Get your joy back. Make it happen. This too shall pass. I appreciate you rocking. Thank you for the heads up for the bonus video. Uh, like I said, I want to do something a little bit lighter. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a few uh, videos on manifestation and this law of attraction that I'm coming into and, and being so... Uh, Shocked as to why I didn't get into this 10, 20, 15 years ago. Whatever the case may be, um, I have to trust God's timing, how we say God's speed. So um, I believe that he knew what he was doing. Sorry, that pressure was getting to me. Uh, so anyway, we'll retire that in a minute. But thank you for rocking with me. I'm actually going to go in here now and make my plate. Uh, Made my dinner this morning when I made my breakfast. So now it's time for dinner. Peace. Mike, 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 Mike.